जय श्री माता जी एवरीवन वी विल बाउ डाउन एंड रेजा कुंडलिनी एंड टेक अ बंधन we seek permission from shrimata ji to start morning meditation as a collective shrimata ji please allow us to meditate on your lotus feet and give us thoughtless awareness may we be able to meditate and surrender all the negativities on to your lotus feet and be able to live in a manner which give a good example of sahaj yogi mother we surrender our ego and super ego onto your lotus feet both hands on mother earth we will take shri आदि भूमि देवी मंत्र वंश ओ तमे साक्षात श्री आदि भूमि देवी साक्षात 
श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः श्री माता जी यू हु आर मदर अर्थ यू हु आर द प्योर लव you who give unconditional support to all the mankind please forgive us that we put our our feet on you both hands on lap attention on muladhara we'll meditate on muladhara and request clearance from shrimata ji attention on left muladhara right hand on mother earth left hand on lap shrimata ji i am your child i am innocent mother please remove all the negativities from my left muladhara mother please give us identification with the joy of creation as i am innocent i am your child we will take shri nirmal ganesha mantra once om pramev sakshat श्री निर्मल गणेश साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नमः mother i am innocent both hands on lap attention on center muladhara we request mother mother please make me innocent mother please give me the power of discrimination and the pure innocence mother you who are shri ganesha please 
give me his innate qualities. Please give me the divine wisdom, the innocence, and the power to discriminate between what is right and wrong. And yet be innocent. To love the whole mankind. We will take Sri Ganesha Gauri Mantra. Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Ganesh Gauri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devyai Namo Namaha Attention on right Muladhar. Left hand on Mother. Here we request Mother. Mother, you who are Sri Kartikeya, please. Make me worthy of your love and appreciation. Mother, please guide me so that all my actions are worthy of your love and appreciation. Please remove all the evil from every cell of my body. I surrender myself onto your lotus feet. We'll take Shri Kartikeya Mantra. Om Tvameva Sakshat Shri Kartikeya Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devya Namo Namaha Mataji, you are the destroyer of all the evil in the world. Please destroy all evil inside me. We'll take Sarva Rakshasa and three mantra once. Om Tvame Vasakshat. Sarva Rakshasa Hantre Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devya Namo Namaha
both hands on lap. Today, we will meditate upon right agya. Attention on right agya. As told by our mother, right agya is the place of Sri Buddha. We'll take Sri Buddham Sharanam Gachami Mantra and meditate on right agya. This is our ego. We surrender our ego onto lotus feet of our mother and try to be in thoughtless awareness. If any thoughts come, we will just let it pass. We'll say, Mother, I'm not this thought. And just see that thought fade away. After this mantra, we will hear a, a short talk from Srimataji and keep meditating on right agya and request clearance of our ego from there and request mother to place her lotus feet onto our agya and super on our ego and super ego. Didi, can you please play the mantra?
So when you are in the collective, it should be such that another person should enjoy your company, enjoy your being there. That is something where there is no problem. But if you are demanding and if you are asking for things and uh, you think no end of yourself, you cannot at all collect you by any chance, but you'll suffer for that. Automatically you'll suffer. If this is realized and understood properly, your Agha is solved. Like anger, People always boast, I'm very angry with you. Boast. But just make that anger into forgiveness. And you'll see the person, instead of you getting into problems, he will get into problems. Anger will upset you, but forgiveness will upset him automatically. It's the biggest weapon you have got is to forgive. And this is shown in Buddha's character throughout. And this will give you self-respect. That you are not disturbed by anything. Like a ship has to be seaworthy. If you put the ship on the sea and if it breaks, what's the use of making a ship? What's the use of a surgery who gets disturbed at every moment? You have to be seaworthy. And if you are seaworthy, nothing can disturb you, all right. The elephant is barking and the dogs are barking. All right, let them bark, what does matter? The elephant looks this side like that, sometimes takes some water and blesses them with water, all right, mm -hmm. quieten down, so that your head will be cooled down. 
that will give you self-esteem and you will know what you are much higher than others. And this is what is how to get rid of your ego which is a very very big problem according to you people. Remember how to get rid of ego. Ego can be said you go. <laughs> when this I-ness goes away, the self rises. What is there to feel hurt? What is there to feel bad? What is there to hurt others? Ah, all right, you are cheated. Very good, at least you have not cheated anyone. Be happy about it. But once you are without ego, means you have surrendered yourself, no one can cheat you. Can you understand that? No one can cheat you. Because there is some higher force which is looking after you. This is the way we should understand Buddha. This is we should know our Buddha qualities. This is how our ego can be dissolved. When you say, Mother, we surrender to you, that just means that you give this horrible ego a complete holiday. It means that. That is how this ego disappears. And I think all you are here just now, ragyas have opened out, most of you, somehow. And then you laugh at everything, you make fun of yourself, just enjoy everything. May God bless you. We can hold our ego and super ego with both our hands and try to deflate these balloons. We we'll say hum sham a couple of times, like two times, and then listen to mother's talk where she guides us more about the ego. Hum Sham Ham Sham Establish yourself. We can very keep well. holding the balloons or keep our both our hands on lap. Sorry, Didi. All your sufferings are going to be taken away. One of the names of the Devi is Papa Vimochini. She removes all your Papas. Sankata Vimochana, we call it Sri Ganesha. He's the one who removes all the hurdles of life. And you really, when blessed, you can see that God has so many ways of blessing the people. It is miraculous. Absolutely, it is a miracle. So many people who are in Sahaja Yoga now say that miracle has lost its meaning in Sahaja Yoga. It's a fact. So one has to understand that God exists. Not only He exists, He acts, He loves, and that we are supposed to know Him. Whatever you may have done, whatever may be the mistakes, you have to become one with God because He is your loving Father. He is the Father who is the ocean of love. And only thing you have to do is to just ask for it 
when the Kundalini rises, you become one with Him and He wants to bestow all His kingdom, all His powers upon His children whom He has created. So all these funny ideas about religion, that you have to suffer, that you must do penance, that you should become brahmacharis, all these absurd ideas should be given up. You have to be absolutely a normal, happy person. God has done so much for you. He has created so much for you. But even if you want to be miserable, what can one do? As far as mother is concerned, if you want to punish your mother sometimes or say uh, you want to just make her unhappy, then you say, otherwise I will not eat my food. So fasting is not allowed in Sahaja Yoga. But if you have to fast for food or anything, it's all right. But otherwise there is no need to fast except for one or two days you have to fast. And thus we understand that Agya Chakra, which is the most important door through which everybody has to pass. Everybody has to pass. And that has to be properly worshipped and kept clean. For that you must keep your attention very clean. Your attention has to be clean. If your attention is soiled, then your Agya Chakra will not be on it. Then you will have hallucinations, you will have wrong ideas, and you will think of wrong things. So if you really want to find the meaning of your being, if you really want awakening of the Kundalini, then know that whatever you have known so far about God or everything has to be revised has to be again seen for yourself what it is like. Unless and until you pass through this, you cannot be baptized. The people who talk of baptism, like John the Baptist, he was really a realized soul. And when he raised the Kundalini and put the water on the head, he really gave them realization. That is baptism. Christian means a baptized person, but not any Dick, Tom and Harry and put his hand on your head and say, you are realized. On the contrary, William Blake says, the priest cursed on my head. It's true, for a realized soul, if you put the hand of a priest who is not a realized soul and who is not properly entitled to do it, children get into problems. We have seen many children who are realized souls who got into problems, their eyes became squinty, they become funny, their brains went off, and we had to cure them. So it's a very dangerous thing to make everyone put their hands on this pulsating uh, fontanel bone area, which we call as Talu. Talu is the Brahmarandra and is the most important part of a human being. So everybody should be very careful before they touch them. You have to be a realized soul and you have to know how to do it. means you have to be a Sajogi. So for your children, when they are born, you have to be careful. If they are a realized soul, more so. Because if they are non-realized souls, then their reaction is not so violent. But if they are realized souls, if they scream and shout and they can't bear it. So one must understand, though it looks like very traditional or anything like that, one must see that those things which are harmful to human beings must be given up. The time has come for all of us to give up those things which are not good for our health, which are not good for our spiritual being. The time has come. If you do not accept this, then only thing I can say as a mother that I am concerned about, but it's much more than that. It's a dangerous time you are in. And Agya Chakra, if it is spoiled at the back, that means you are definitely possessed. At the back, if the Agya Chakra is caught, then one develops blindness with the eyes open. Now in India it's very common. The reason is we have very funny ideas about the Devi or the God coming into the body of human beings. How can that be? It's again same thing, supraconscious business. A maid servant who is all the time uh, uh, using bad words, who has no sense of cleanliness, who has no sense of holiness, suddenly becomes agitated. Ho, 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 she goes on. And all the women, it, Maharashtra is very common, they will go and fall at her feet. The Devi has come, the Devi has come. And now they fall at her feet. And then ultimately they are caught up because they get the position. 
by a spirit. We had one very bad case recently where a man, uh, he came to me and he told me that uh, he can't help, he has to touch the feet of his sister-in-law because she is a Devi. I said, why? Because she gets into this agitation. So I told that if you think that she's a Devi and if you want to touch her feet, you don't come to me again. But he became blind, absolutely blind. And when he became absolutely blind, then he came to me. And then we had to put the Agya Chakra all right. Now how do you do it in Sahaja Yoga? As you have the photograph, you may use it, put a light before the photograph. Light is the way you cure your Agya Chakra always light or the sun, because Christ is, resides in the sun. So what do you do is to put a light in front, take another light behind and give an arti to your Agya Chakra at the back. It is decided by Maha Ganapati and Mahabhairava. So you just give it a arti and Agya Chakra video. But how do you open this? Very simple thing is that any thought comes to you, you should say, I forgive. This is the greatest weapon Christ has given us. You just say, I forgive, I forgive, and you can overcome your ego. This is the mantra for this chakra in front, where you just say, I forgive, I forgive, I forgive, and you'll find your Agya chakra will open out, and you'll find your ego will go. Forgiveness is one of the biggest weapons human beings have got. But they are so stupid, if I tell them, forgive. Now, what is there not to forgive? Because it's very difficult to forgive. I say, what is so difficult? What are you doing? Are you doing something when you are saying, I am forgiving? Do you do something? Nothing. On the contrary, when you do not forgive, then what is happening is the person whom you do not forgive is actually torturing you, while you are not torturing that person. So this is the mantra of the Agya Chakra in front and at the back, as I told you, you have to move the lights. Now somebody will say, one day they will do it, two days they will do that's now the Sahaja Yoga is not to be worked on. You have to really go all out to do it. And I have seen people who had eyes which were all bent like this, they could never raise their eyes and now have open eyes, proper eyes with this working. It's very simple to be done. There's one more thing that happens to our eyes. When the Swadhisthana Chakra goes out of order, it is represented here at the back, which is around this back agya. So when you have diabetes or anything like that, people start becoming blind. Because this Swadhisthana Chakra, which is around, goes on pressing it. And that's how that part, which is uh, surrounding this center, uh, oppresses and augments uh, that center so that the eyes cannot see, there's no light, there's darkness and people have eyes open. You have seen many diabetic people get this blindness. So first of all, cure your diabetes through curing your um, Swadhisthana. And also you can use uh, a eyes around your Swadhisthana at the back. But first of all, if you improve your Swadhisthana, you will feel very much better. So the treatment of the front side is with the light, and the treatment of the back is with the water. And, but best is also to use the light or the water, whichever way you like, because if it is Swadhisthana, you have to use the water, but if it is just the possession, then you have to use, without diabetes, if it is a possession, then you have to just use the light. That's how we cure our Agya Chakra. When Christ said, I am the light, I am the power, because He's Omkara, He's the power. And He's the door, He's the gate. And everybody will have to pass through His gate. He never told lies, but they crucified Him. They just crucified Him. One thing good we have, we are fortunate in this country, we don't have any organized religion. Thank your stars for that. If you had any organized religion, you could never have taken to such a Because according to organized religion, you have to believe in one person and as if he has no connection with anyone, he's a lone person hanging in the air, he has nothing to do with anybody else. So thank God for that. 
that it has not happened in this country and that's how we have people who are more suited for Sahaja Yoga than we have in any other country because they are so conditioned. And it's a very great blessing. For example now, Sainath, who was the last incarnation of the Guru principle, he was a Muslim. But all his disciples are Hindus. They are not Muslims. Muslims don't accept him even as God. Not only that, but there's one place called Haji Malam, where a saint died who was a Muslim. But he told that only the Brahmins, means the realized souls must worship me. And so they had to appoint some Brahmins, which they did not understand the word Brahmins. They are Hindus who are worshipping a Muslim peer. So the idea that once you become the peer, once you become a realized soul, then he has no religion. He is beyond religion. He becomes the religion. Then there is no bounding for him because a, a drop has gone to the ocean. Now he's become the ocean. So for the ocean there is no limitation. And because he has crossed his limitation, he's above all these things. And that's what we believe in, that if he's a peer, if he's a realized soul, then he's a realized soul. Uh, once I went to a small village called uh, Miyakita. And as soon as I stepped into the village, I felt tremendous vibrations. And I said, who was the great saint who lived here? So they said there was one Muslim peer. I said, whatever it is, he was a saint. And when I was sitting and giving lecture, you will see the photographs. The light came on my head seven times. And the seventh time then I put my hand like this. But nobody saw it, only I knew. And I knew that it was there, I was laughing with it. And then the people, you see, when they took the photograph, they took picture. So these realized souls are all over and they are helping. They never enter into anybody, they never trouble you, they guide you to the proper lines. They bring you, they are angels, and they help you to come to the right path, to the right conclusions. And they never try to possess you, they never try to hypnotize you or take you to wrong side of life. So when you are realized also, you must know that you have to know completely what is the reality. Go on understanding it trying to assimilate it, not to discard it because you are attached to something, you are attached to another organization. There is no organization in Sahaja Yoga, you know very well. There is no grouping in Sahaja Yoga, there is no membership in Sahaja Yoga, but it's a living organization. It's a living organization. So anything happens here, the whole body knows. Anything happens there, the whole body knows. We don't have to have organization written for this body. In the same way, Sahaja Yoga works out, but still I must say, as we have in our body, different type of sensory systems. We to have in Sahaja Yoga people who just come in, just the beginners. They are not exposed to the truths which they cannot bear. Then if they pass a certain line of understanding, then they are taken as they say, Nirvichara Samadhi people who are given certain facilities to enter into certain new dimensions and ideas. But the inner circle people are the ones who are in nirvikalpa. Such people are only taken into uh, consideration uh, for teaching Sahaja Yoga. Anybody who tries to teach Sahaja Yoga, talk about Sahaja Yoga, at the second stage just is thrown away. Because there's a centrifugal and a centripetal, both the forces working. By one you come in, and by another you are thrown like a tangent. Nobody is anxious to have a very big group or anything. If it is big, well and good, one wants to save as many as possible. But nobody is going to force you, nobody is going to have any cheap sort of a circus for it. It is the desire of the people who want to come in, it is the wish of the people, those who have to come. You cannot force them, you cannot force a person to get their realization. So this is what it is today at the Agya Chakra, I've told you. Agya Chakra, I've spoken many a times uh, in England and in America, and uh, I was very much uh, sometimes opposed by some churches and things, but I think if they want to exist any longer, they better take to truth. I know that what they knew so far is incomplete. They have to know the full of it because Christ 
couldn't talk much and whatever he said was written down by his disciples the way they understood. To understand Christ, you have to have your realization. May God bless you. Mother, thank you so much for bestowing upon us this knowledge. We are so lucky to be the chosen ones by you. Please make us your instrument and please look upon that we do not develop this ego. You are the doer. We do nothing. Please make us your divine instruments, Mother. Keeping our attention on Agya Chakra, we can say the prayer for Agya Chakra. How fortunate we are to have been realized. We are Sahaj Yogis. God had chosen us. How can we work if we remain weak? Adi Shakti has given us the power to redeem the whole mankind. We can do it and we will do it. With this desire in our heart, we pray to Adi Shakti to please come to Adelaide. Can we all please give Bandhan Mans for Adelaide Ashram to remove all the negativities, all the obstacles which are there in the path of establishing an abode for Sri Mataji in Adelaide. And after that, we will listen to this beautiful music for Agya Chakra clearance. And whosoever wants to start their day can praise the Kundalini and move on for the beautiful day with the beautiful blessings from Sri Mataji. Thank you everyone for joining us for the morning meditation today. Jai Sri Mataji.
Again, Shamata, you're very shy. I'm saying, 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 I'